Hey everyone, Karant here welcoming you back to Skies of Arcadia Legends. In the last episode, we finished up our journey through Mount Kazai and we ended up fighting off Tortigar, the giant steel skinny turtle that still reminds me like I'm playing Pokemon. Anyway, we ended up using an aura of valor to beat him, which was a fairly controversial decision, but still, given what I knew at the time, I don't regret what I did, so, alright, anyway, we are going to make our way back, I think, and hopefully not have problems with him, uh, although I wouldn't be surprised if we did, but, oh well, anyway. Yes, I want to head back to Yafutoma now. Let's go. We wanted to head back to Yafutoma for a little bit. Could you give us a lift? No problem. Okie dokie. I'm hoping this is, I figure this is what we're supposed to do. So, I'm not really sure what happens next though. I mean, they haven't really given us any hints as far as what to do precisely. Also, another thing that I'll mention that I didn't see here, maybe I'm just blind as a bat, but I didn't see a Sailor's Guild. I mean, maybe there's just not one in this area at all, but still, uh, I haven't seen one, so I'm a little surprised at this. Anyway, I figure we'll go over and talk to old Prince King, I guess King, Emperor, I don't remember his title to be quite honest. And hopefully while I'm doing so, pick up a moonfish that you guys have told me that I missed. Uh, you said I missed it because whenever I've gone away from the Imperial Palace, I've gone one direction the whole time and I'd need to go the other direction to find it. So hopefully we'll find it. All right, so let's go ahead and head up there, I guess. Fortunately, it's not too long of a journey, so I don't feel too bad about it. Okay, so you guys said the moonfish is over to the left because I kept going to, well, what's my right here, which makes sense, I mean, and I think I even see it. Hi. Hey there. I gotta get closer, apparently, to reference you, but I can see you. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Hi there. How's it? Okay. There we go. That's better. Also, oh, more duckies. Hi, duckies. Hi. Unfortunately, I can't get a good view of you as from the earlier ones. Actually, you guys look like swans, so... Well, very unique types of duckies. And I'm running around the entrance to the Imperial Palace, so let's uh, let's not do that. Let's actually go in the palace and talk to the ruler of Yafutoma one more time, now that we have the blue crystal. You have done exceptionally well. No one in Yafutoma has seen the Maga Sphere since the days of the Old World. You are the first to make it back alive from the depths of Mount Kazai. How can I repay you for risking your lives to recover it? Well, as we mentioned earlier, we were wondering if it'd be alright if we borrowed it. Huh. But it is the symbol of royal succession. I would like to keep it in my possession at least while you remain in Yafutoma. Uh, sure. Symbol of royal succession, huh? That makes sense why they want to keep it. Moegi, you're Lord Mikado's daughter, right? So does that make you the successor to the throne? Um... Wait, what is going on here? Well, thank you for retrieving the Maga Sphere. Let us begin the preparations for the feast. Make yourselves at home and enjoy the festivities. That, sir, is not a very subtle change of topic at all. But it would appear to have worked. <laughs> All right, that's more like it. I can't wait to taste the gourmet cooking of Yafutoma. We would be honored to join you, especially Aika. Uh, Enrique, why do you have that look on your face? I think he senses the hijinks in the place. Princess, huh? Yeah, me thinks we got problems coming in the near future, very near future, in fact. You must be very tired. You're welcome to stay in the royal guest house tonight. I've kind of already done that, but okay. Thank you for escorting us. That was some of the best food I've ever had. Oh man, we didn't even get to see the feast! Come on! And for some reason, I pictured those eating sticks to be much bigger. It took me a while to get used to them, though. I'm very happy that you enjoyed yourselves. 
So, the Westerners do have a sense of taste after all. Oh, God. Hey, what's up? I came here to personally thank you for retrieving the Magosphere. I will be sure and take care of it when it is passed on to me as soon as Moegi and I are married. I will never marry you. And as long as Daigo is alive, you'll never be king. Have you forgotten that Prince Daigo has been exiled for treason? <laughs> I find it very unlikely that a traitor would ever become king. Moeki? Okay, that's it. Huh? Enrique? I don't know your motives, but this is not how a nobleman treats a lady. If you insist on insulting her, then you'll have to deal with me. You think you can push me around just because you got the manga sphere back? I'm going to tell my father on you! And who would your father happen to be, you little whiny spoilsport? Oh, right, other guy. Yeah, never mind. Prince Enrique, I... I'm terribly sorry. I'm sorry you felt that you had to defend me like that. I didn't mean to put you in that position. No, no, that's quite all right. Where I come from, we have codes of honor on how a lady, such as yourself, should be treated. Well, honestly, not many people follow that code anymore. I know what you mean. Prince Enrique. But, Miraji spoke of an exiled prince. Do you know what he was talking about? Turn the head. It... it's nothing. Alright, Tales of Symphonia. If... if you'll excuse me, I'll be returning to my quarters. Pleasant dreams. What is this all about? Oh, I think I know what this is all about. Somebody's in love, I think. Or at least a crush or something like that. Those Westerners, they'll pay for speaking to me like that. <laughs> well, what have we here? Oh god, now who? Eek! Who are you? Is that Beleza? Hey! How's it going, Beleza? Here, I thought you'd retired and all that good stuff. Shh. I heard everything. My name is Beleza, and it appears that we have a common enemy. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing that Imperial fleet of super duper ships is ready because how else could you have crossed the Dark Rift? Well, this is. I wish I could say a complete surprise. Maybe a bit of a surprise as to who's doing the talking, but... Yeah. Good morning, Vice. Did you rest well? Yes, I slept like a rock. That was my first time sleeping on a floor mattress thing. <laughs> I see. I'm glad you were comfortable. Lord Mikado, it's an emergency! Black ships have surrounded the city, and what appears to be their flagship is attempting to dock in our harbor. ruh -ro. What? Black ships? Oh no. It must be the Armada. Vice, let's hurry back to the port. Oh boy, this sounds fun. Father. Yes, yes, I know. Wow, yeah. Again, y'all don't look sinister in the slightest. Okay then, looks like we... Well, I, I'm guessing we're about to get into an airship battle or two. That's my thoughts anyway. Especially since the it's the Armada that's shown up. So, the question then remains, how did they get beyond the Black Rift? I mean, because it took our super duper... Prototype, Moonstone, Cannon equipped, Herky Durky... Super ship to get through there, and apparently we had been the first people through there, so, well, uh. 
I don't know, kind of makes you wonder, but still, I guess we'll find out in just a second, so might as well go ahead and chug on down there. As the music comes to a dead stop, that's curious. So, hi. What's up? No! Oh, whoa, hi. So you brought Vigoro with you. Okay. Beleza and Vigoro? Well, well. Hello there, handsome. Haven't seen you in a while. Wow. Hey, Red. Looks like fate's brought us back together again. Ah. Oh no! What's he doing here? <laughs> it's so cute how she pretends that she doesn't want me. Come aboard my ship. Maybe the two of us can rock the boat. Vicoro, please. We are in the presence of Prince Enrique. Prince Enrique, I trust you are in good health. If you are wondering how we got here, we blasted a hole in the stone reef near Ixataka and traveled west. Well, there you go, I guess. Our goal is the same, my prince. We also seek the blue crystal. <laughs> what? Beleza, do you plan to burn down Yafutoma as well? Relax, handsome. As I told you before, I'm against unnecessary destruction. We have no intention of fighting with you. We were merely planning to dock and speak with the king of these lands. You're wasting your time. King Mikado is an honorable man. There's no way he would strike a deal with the value in Armada. Oh, I could think of a way or two. We'll see about that. Everyone has their limits, their codes, their morals, but everyone also has a weakness. If you find that weakness and exploit it, those limits, codes, and morals seem to fade away. I'd love to chat longer, but I have an appointment with the king. Stay out of our way. See you around, handsome. Okay, I'll just let her do the talking. Vice! Shouldn't we stop them? Okay. I mean, as much as I'm tempted to choose stop them by force, I mean, because they are the enemy, she's mentioned already that she is against unnecessary violence, or against unnecessary whatever. She's not, um... Oh, What's his face? Uh, Ramirez. She's not Sephiroth, basically. Uh, so I don't think she's gonna sit here and go completely burn everything down to the ground on this. And I also think that this would, I mean, especially with so many Armada ships in the harbor, I think this would cause a lot of unnecessary and really unwanted chaos for the citizens of Yafatoma. So this may not be the right choice, but I'm gonna hold Pat. Sorry. There's nothing we can do right now. There's no way we can take on all of these soldiers. We can't even get to the Delphinus right now. Beleza and Vigoro are here as Imperial representatives. Attacking them during a diplomatic meeting would make us criminals. Let's return to our quarters. There we will wait until they've concluded their talks. No, I will never let the Valuans occupy Yafotoma. But King Mikado, you do realize that your country's pitiful army wouldn't last a day against the Armada. To prevent unnecessary bloodshed, I recommend that you surrender. We will never surrender. We will never hand Yafotoma over to a band of bloodthirsty warlords like yourselves. We are protected by the Blue Moon. In the past, whenever our country was threatened, the Blue Winds came to our aid and saved our lands. If you attack us, the winds will blow you into the Dark Rift. Valua will never occupy Yafotoma. Do you hear me? Never! I'm sorry you didn't see things our way. It appears that this meeting is at an end. Then, I will gain possession of Yafotoma by my own means.
Oh, and thus the treachery asserts itself. What sort of treachery is this? <laughs> if you do not keep quiet, you will be a head shorter. Miraji, you traitor! Beleza, in accordance with our meeting last night, this country will fall under the rule of the Valuan Empire. Kangan, what are you saying? King Mikado, as Lady Beleza stated, we have no hope of winning a war against Valua. To save our people, we shall usurp your power and assume our role as leaders of Yafutoma. Wow, Beleza, I'm glad we're on the same side. Don't relax yet, big guy. Not while the kid is still around. Take King Mikado prisoner and find those air pirates. Hey, she's got a brain in that head of hers. I mean, for the most part, the bad guys in JRPGs just sit there and go la 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 and don't even care about the protagonist until it's too late. This time, she's actually smart! Ha <laughs> ha! It seems like they're, they've been taking forever. Well, you know how formal these diplomatic talks are. It takes forever for, for them to decide who gets to sit down first. Everyone, quickly! You must get out of here! Princess Moegi? What happened? Kangen and Miraji have betrayed us. My father has been taken prisoner. It was Beleza's doing. What? Beleza, it figures. She probably met with those two before the meeting and had the whole thing planned out. Vice, what should we do? Uh, <laughs> well, I think in this case, I don't know, two climactic decisions right in a row here. I think in this case, though, our decision needs to be the bold one. Because I think we need to try to save Mikado, because if we can't, then we're going to not only use lose Yafutoma, we're going to lose the Blue Moon Crystal, and possibly our lives as well. What do you think? We have to go rescue the king! And apparently that was the wrong decision. That's impossible! Enemy soldiers have already taken the palace! Okay, so whoopsie-daisy. We have no time! Quickly, follow me! Oh, well, uh, hi. We can escape from the palace this way! Hurry! Now, let's hope the Prime Minister, or whatever, and his ilk don't already know about this, because that could be you know, all sorts of terrible. Uh, oh, hi. Oh, hello, Sacrilin Crystals. Merci beaucoup. And also, hi. Uh, camera? Would you? Wow, okay, never mind then. No camera work. <laughs> So I wonder what's going to confront us when we... Oh, hi. Uh, when we get out of here. Oh. Uh, okay. We're in a flying saucer? Wow. Incredible. I can't believe how high we are. Yeah. The powers of the blue moon are amazing. We will be safe here. It's great that we escaped from the guards, but now what do we do? There's an ancient temple on a small island to the north. My brother, Daigo, should be there. What? You have a brother? Haven't you been listening to anything, Aika? Yes? He is the true heir to the throne. A long time ago, my brother directly disobeyed my father's orders. He was exiled from Yafatoma and sentenced to live on the island. Marooning him on an island is, was kind of harsh, don't you think? 
My brother had a tendency to go out sailing on his own and disregard his duties as a prince. But I don't think that my father should have disowned him. I think that Miraji and Kangen convinced my father to exile him. With my brother out of the way, they have a chance of taking over Yafatoma. That makes sense. Vice, it looks like we have no other choice. It looks like we're going to have to rely on Daigo. Yeah. Princess Moegi, do not worry. We will save the people of Yafatoma and your father. Prince Enrique, thank you. You can reach my brother's island by heading north from here. So does this mean we have to drive the whatever that is? Or do we actually get our ship back? Or we just go straight there. Never mind, that works too. Okay, so, well, hi, save point. How's it going? Uh, does this mean we're going to have to face some tests on the way there or something like that? It'd be... I mean, given the way that this looks, I don't think we're going to go completely battleless while we're here. I mean, maybe we will, but... I just can't really imagine that all of this walkway is a lead-up for nothing, but... Oh, okay. Hi, guards. Hi, Tenkel. Wait a minute, I thought the Tenkel were supposed to be pirates. Were they under Daigo's command? Huh, wouldn't that be something? Okay, so, well, we're all purple already, so we might as well just go ahead and apply our trade here. Uh, let's see. Oh, and we've got, now we've got enough SP on a turn for Epsilon Mirror, just in case. We don't really need it right now, but it's a good thing to know anyway. All right, so you guys, y'all just go ahead and do normal type stuff. And this doesn't do that much because they're blue, so which, which makes sense. What I should probably do then is just go ahead and attack for a turn against these guys, and then maybe use Vice's attack. Or maybe it doesn't even matter. Oh god, Power Potion? Okay, what does this do? Oh, okay, so it's basically just a walking Ingram, got it. That's fine, understand. I don't think it's gonna help you in the end, at least too much, but still. Especially when you get Cupel Speared. Speaking of which, I need to actually use the uh, Aubrey Chomp after the end of this battle. Now that y'all have had some chances to see Cupel Spear, I wanna go ahead and move to the next one. Okay, so I think, I mean, we could go ahead and use the, uh, well, uh, yeah, I mean, let's, Actually, is that enough for his? No, not quite, it's 14, okay. Well, anyway, this will probably end it pretty quickly, even though they are blue. It might, it'll take one down, it may, Never mind. Okay, hey, we've got some smart enemies. They heal themselves and buff themselves and such. This is interesting, this is good. I like this. I like challenge. Well, I say that and I panicked and used the aura of valor in the last battle, but <laughs> whatever. Okay, so you guys are going to keep heal spamming yourselves. Got it. So that means I need to kill you quick. Oh man, I was hoping he'd be able to pull that off, but... Okay, so, well, let's go ahead just in case and have you do Cutlass Fury. And I think that should wrap it up because it's pretty much one or the other with this much SP. So go ahead and have the rest of the guys just do normal type stuff. And, never mind. Also, I think that's the first time I've seen an enemy's weapon actually reflect their element. Because all of the Tenko swords were blue, or Tenko, sorry. I keep messing up the pronunciation of that, my bad. Okay, so, let's go ahead and use that Aubrey Tom while we're here. And see what it turns Cupel into. Cupel Claymore! Okay, so you're more, even more swordly than you were. 157 and 115, wowee, holy cow. Okay, that's nice. All right then, so we've got ourselves some pirates to fight while we're on our way to the prince's place. Not that I'm overly surprised, mind you, but still, it's interesting nonetheless. Oh, whoa, hang on, no. I'm never one to neglect a charm. Yeah, there we go. Okay, speaking of, see if I can spiny moonfish in the near vicinity, I guess. Not particularly, but I still want to be on the lookout for them nonetheless. 
As it turns out, Reign of Swords helps out a lot when fighting these guys. Not that they're terribly difficult, but it's still worth... I don't know. It's still worth using, definitely, because... Those guys go down pretty easily when you hit them with the power of lightning, apparently. Alright, well, let's see. As we're making our way toward the top here, we're... What, does this mean anything? Huh. There's something written here in Yafutome, and it's probably the name of this shrine. Well, I would think so. I don't think there's anything written on any of the other ones, so I don't know. Okay, so now that we've reached the top here, just in case this is a boss battle or becomes a boss battle, I want to go ahead and put the captain's hat on. I don't know that it will. Probably too little too late as such things go, but still... Westerners, it appears we, that we meet again. Aw, not them again. What are you doing here? This is the headquarters of the Tenko. It was very foolish for you to come here. The time has come for you to die. For us to finish you. Halt! Well, hi there. Zhao, Mao, who's there? Lord Daigo. These are the Westerners that dared to defy us. They came through the Dark Rift. I'm Vice of the Blue Robes. You're the leader of the Tenko? Daigo! <gasps> what? He's your... said it three or four different ways by now! Why is this surprising? Huh? This is Prince Daigo? Moegi, how have you been? I never would have thought that you'd bring foreigners to my temple. I never thought that I would either. But what are the Tengo doing here? Uh, he runs them. A long time ago, the twins challenged me to a fight. They won in my sword, so I beat them senseless. And for some strange reason, they pledged their loyalty to me. I've been their leader ever since. And I figured, as their leader, I could control them a little, so they'd stop attacking everyone. Well, you did a great job against us. <laughs> Besides, who else do you know that has twin bodyguards? <laughs> Moegi. Is he really your brother? It's hard to imagine that the two of you are related. I know he's a prince, like Enrique, but it seems that princes in Yafutoma act differently than princes in Valua. But what's the purpose of your visit, Moegi? Has father changed his mind? Daigo, he... What's wrong? Did something happen to him? Blah, 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 blah. Kangen, that little runt! How could he backstab our father and hand our country over to the Valuans? Daigo! Moegi, I'm sorry. If I was still there, this would never have happened. When I was exiled, I welcomed the freedom. I disregarded all of my duties and did whatever I wanted here in this temple. But now my people need me. I must go back there and reclaim my title as Prince of Yafotoma. Vice, I can't thank you enough for saving my sister. Well, she actually saved us, so those things would probably go in the other direction. Now, I must get ready for battle. I will fight against Valua and give Yafutoma back to the people. I would be honored if you'd fight alongside me. <laughs> well, I can understand why this would be a choice given what happened earlier, but not really. Uh -huh. Of course we'll help. We'll sh we share the same enemy. So the exact same motivation for Beleza and, and the others. Yeah, same deal. Excellent. We will fight together and reclaim Yafotoma and the Maga Sphere. Also, Lord Enrique, I heard that you defended my sister from Miraji. My family thanks you for your bravery. 
I did only what's expected of a gentleman. Think nothing of it. And, Prince Daigo, I know how you feel. I too have been exiled from my lands. I wish to change the views of my country by changing the world around it. And that is why I wish to aid you, from one exiled prince to another. Also, the fleet that you are about to face, the Armada, was sent here by my mother, Empress Theodora. As a value in prince, it is my duty to stop them. This is not only your battle, it's mine as well. I understand. I will gladly accept your aid. Prince Enrique, you are a very noble man, much more noble than I. If a man such as yourself were to be at my sister's side, I would sleep well at night. Um, uh... <laughs> I don't quite think that's what he had in mind. Daigo! And from the looks of it, the two of you wouldn't mind either. Okay, maybe they did have that in mind. <clears throat> don't mind me. <laughs> hey. Now then, Vice, I need to prepare for the battle. Meet me at the port. We will depart for Yafatoma as soon as you are ready. Okay, well, <laughs> sounds, uh... Actually, I wonder, uh, can I inspect the palace before we finish up? Uh, I definitely need to, apparently. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do I need to get up on top of the steps to find my moon fishy? Sounds like it. Oh, can I please? Yep, yeah, that's what I figured. Alright, where are you? There you are. There, there, there you are. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so, there's that. Um, I want to inspect the palace itself, too, because I want to see if there's any goodies. I don't think there will be, but still, can't blame a guy for trying. And apparently we can't get in anyway, so, alright, well, I guess in that case this seems like a good time to end things. So, next time on Skies of Arcadia Legends, we're going to see about taking back Yafatoma with the help of Prince Daigo. So, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see y'all later.